Hello, today we are going to talk about waste segregation. Recycling waste items is a fundamental operation for any responsible business. As a responsible organisation, Briggs Equipment UK has a moral obligation to ensure that we are as environmentally friendly as possible. Apart from our moral obligation, there are legal and financial reasons that require us to dispose of waste in the correct manner. For example, it is illegal to mix hazardous and non-hazardous waste together, or indeed to mix different hazardous waste streams together. In terms of financial reasons, every year Briggs Equipment UK spend well in excess of £100,000 on waste disposal. However, by segregating our waste, we are able to claim substantial rebates from these waste items. So in order for us to recycle successfully, it is important that you segregate all of your different waste streams and dispose of them separately. We will now take a look at the different waste streams. Generally speaking, there are two main categories for waste. These are hazardous waste and non-hazardous waste. Starting with the latter, non-hazardous waste contains items such as paper, cardboard, plastic, or wood. Non-hazardous waste also includes what's known as general waste. General waste includes any residual non-hazardous items that don't necessarily fit succinctly into any other non-hazardous waste streams. Examples include food waste or items that are made up of a mixture of non-hazardous materials which cannot be broken down. Wherever possible to do so, you should avoid disposing of items as general waste as more often than not, they go directly to landfill and are not recycled. Apart from failing in our objective to be as environmentally friendly as possible, the company will also be charged landfill tax for any items that go to landfill. The other category of waste is hazardous waste. Hazardous waste includes items such as aerosols, waste oil, oil contaminated materials, waste batteries, and other items. All of these items must be disposed of separately from each other. Disposing of these items together can cause dangerous reactions. Oil contaminated items should be placed into a blue hazardous waste bag before being disposed of in an oil contaminated waste bin. Oil contaminated waste is very expensive to dispose of, therefore you must not put any product that is non-hazardous waste into these bags. All waste bins supplied by Briggs Equipment UK should have signs on them detailing what waste stream can be placed within them. It is vitally important that you observe and follow these instructions. If you place items in the wrong bin, they will then have to be separated by your waste collection contractor who will charge us a penalty for doing so. If you find a container which is not marked, you must not use it. If this does happen, please inform the person who is responsible for the waste area. When waste containers are nearing full capacity, it is important that you contact the person who arranges waste collection. If you dispose of your waste at a field-based waste station, it is important that you all take responsibility for this. The contact details of the relevant person who arranges the waste contractors to attend should be displayed within the waste station. 
If these details are not displayed within the waste station, please contact your line manager. That concludes our toolbox talk. Thank you for listening.